Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at installing the Optronics Mini LED 3 diode clear lens with amber light and this is going to be a great option for updating your trailer with some nice LED lights and it's going to be completely submersible so it's going to be great for your boat trailers as well. Now this is an obvious upgrade compared to what we had on here. Not only is the footprint smaller, but the light is absolutely better. And being LED, it's gonna be more efficient overall, taking less energy to give us that brighter light. Another benefit of the LEDs is you have the diode there. So with incandescent bulbs, as you're kind of bouncing around down the road, as trailers can do, that bulb has got those small filaments that can break over time and you have to change out the bulb. Well, that's not the case here with our LED. The lifespan of these is significantly longer than your normal incandescent bulb. Now when not in use, this is a clear lens and it's going to be a polycarbonate, so it's going to hold up really well. Um, it's extremely durable, that way if you know little rocks or whatever hit it, it's not going to chip. These are great housings here and that's going to house our three LED lights that give us 180 degrees, giving us a beam pattern that's able to be seen across the board. So when mounted on that flat surface, that 180 degrees will be easily visible. And the great part about this is it has a single wire. The ground's integrated on the mounting point. So really it's just one wire that you're tying into your running lights. And other than that, it's gonna be an easy replacement or addition to your trailer. Now having some clearance lights like this one that's burnt out, it's a good time to not only replace but upgrade. And really lighting has come such a far away. LEDs are wonderful. They're very efficient and they put off a really good light that these incandescents just can't keep up with. So it's a good time to replace this with a nice LED version. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this old one off and then I'll show you how to get our new one in and wire it up. Now we have our existing hole and that's how it mounted up. So we're gonna need to drill two holes. We can use this existing one to pass our wire through. And the way I'm gonna do this is just make sure that I have it nice and lined up here. And what I'll be doing is using the one side that doesn't have this ground. That way we're not gonna damage this ground plate. So pretty easy. We'll just go ahead, get this in place. And it's gonna be hard to get a marker. You could probably get a pencil in there or something along those lines to make the mark. But I'm gonna just take a very small drill bit and kind of make some pilot holes here. If you have a punch, that'll work as well. And then what I'll do, so I don't have to use that ground, I'll just line this one up and then make my drill on the other side. And then what I've found is the holes here are going to be about perfect for a 5 16 drill bit. Uh, or 5.30 seconds, I'm sorry. And that 5.30 seconds allows for our hardware to pass through. Now it doesn't come with hardware, so you are gonna wanna pick some up. Uh, we found some 8.30 seconds stainless hardware with some washers and lock nuts that's uh, gonna do a good job of mounting this up. But I'm gonna go ahead, get our holes drilled in, and then we can mount this. Now obviously before drilling, make sure that you don't have any wiring behind there that you could potentially damage. Now these are really, really nice because they ground as you mount these to a metal frame here, but uh, we're gonna wanna make sure we have a really good ground. So part of that is gonna be grinding down the surface. So one of these, you're gonna wanna make sure it's nice and clean and smooth. That way we have a nice clean ground. So you can use a uh, Scotch-Brite or uh, some sandpaper. Uh, either way, that's gonna work well. I'm just gonna throw a quick grind on it here. And then now we can pass our wires through, make sure our ground goes on that edge there. And uh, with your hardware, go ahead and get this mounted up. Now I'm using a washer here uh, to give it a little bit more, a um, little bit more protection. That way if you over tighten, at least that washer is gonna kind of disperse that uh, pressure there and it doesn't crack our light. What are you putting on the back? So I'm gonna go ahead and put a flat washer and then a split washer here. Uh, before putting our nut on and that's going to allow this to kind of hold in place long term. It's not going to rattle loose. Uh, I do recommend getting some stainless hardware. That way it doesn't rust and corrode over time. Um, and it's just going to keep the lifespan of the mounting here uh, pretty much for a long time. So good hardware makes all the difference.
Now as far as the wiring up portion goes, it's going to be really simple here. Um, depending on the way that yours was previously attached or if you're adding a new light, it doesn't really matter. You're going to want to find the connection where it goes into the brown wire, which is going to be your running light circuit. And that way when you have the running lights on the trailer, these clearance lights will come on. So this one does have a quick splice connector. Um, because this is exposed to the weather, uh, we do have some wire loom that's seen better days here, but uh, you don't want your wires to corrode, especially on where they're making contact here. They can become brittle over time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut our brown wire here and use a heat shrink butt connector. And that way, when we have this tied in, it's gonna be nice and sealed up and watertight. So I've gone ahead and I've just cut here where that quick splice was on our brown wire. And I'm just gonna take our yellow wire from our new light twist this together with our brown on one side and we'll get our heat shrink butt connector in place. And then we're just going to tie back in to that brown wire on this side. Now once those are crimped down, I'll go ahead and get my heat gun and then just be careful not to get your wire loom. but. Just kind of work the heat back and forth. If you don't have a heat gun, a lighter actually works pretty well. But as you heat this up, you're going to see it start to shrink around and that's going to create that watertight seal. So this is why they're uh, super beneficial, especially in spots where trailer could be exposed to weather, which in this case it absolutely is. So we'll go ahead and get this shrunk up. All it's left to do is test to make sure that it works. You can hook up to your truck or a test box and turn your turns or your running lights on and they should kick on. And that was a look and installation of the Optronics Mini LED side marker and clearance lights.